a news program from a native perspective. Whether it's a flag pole raising or whether it's an elders conference, if it's important to the people and I make a story out of it, this is the most exciting, wonderful, fun time of my life. Hello and welcome to Heartbeat Alaska. I'm Jeannie Green. Welcome to Harpy Alaska Native News and Native Information. I'm Jeannie Green. On today's program, we visit with Athabascan Francis Williams. You might know him. We've had him on our program before with Athabascan fiddling. He plays the guitar. He has a wonderful history and explains how he became a guitarist at an early age. It's all right here in Harpy Alaska. And I'll be back with Francis Williams right after this. There's a heartbeat louder the gift of past experience is handed down. There are no greater lessons. By the Nature Conservancy of Alaska, working with Alaska's rural communities to conserve and protect our natural heritage. Alaska is sponsored in part by Chugach Alaska Corporation. This program is sponsored in part by Phillips Alaska. Dreamers who make it happen. I like to dream. Support for this program provided by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alaska. We've been here since before Alaska was a state, and we'll be here when you need us. We're here. We're with you. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alaska. From time to time, we get calls from all over the north, all over the lower 48, requesting music by this wonderful man. Here he is, Athabascan Francis Williams. <laughs> Galena, 
uh, on the Yukon River there. And uh, some of the earlier thoughts of home was uh, pretty much uh, spending a lot of time out in the, in the woods, fish camp in the summer, trapping camp in the winter. But uh, it, it seemed like fun at the time. <laughs> And uh, we, uh, we'd get bundled up in the morning and go outside, you know, and enjoy, enjoy playing outside. We never looked at the thermometer. We never knew how cold it was, you know. Uh, it was 40 below or 20 above. We never knew the difference. We just stressed for it, and, and uh, we just go have a good time. And that was pretty much the way life was, you know. So, out on the trap line in the winter times, most folks were out, and, uh, and they'd come in on the holidays, of course, and, and uh, everybody did have a dance, and, and people would get together and just have a great old time. days we trapped a lot you know hunted and trapped and uh, went muskrat trapping in the spring and uh, got 12 muskrat in those days they were two dollars a piece you know for the hide I got 12 muskrat it was 24 dollars and I think my mom kicked in another five dollars for freight and we ordered a guitar from Sears and Roebuck and uh, that's how we got our start Eagle Island Blues was written by a gentleman in Nulato many years ago. I, I don't know just how long ago, probably late 40s maybe. And it's called Eagle Island Blues. Ah! Uh -huh. 
not performing, Francis is a humble man of few words. When in our Heartbeat Alaska studios here in Anchorage, he reflected on his travels through the years. We traveled quite a bit, uh, not so much here just recently, but in the past uh, few years we've been to a lot of villages. Oh gosh, Eagle, Tanner Cross, Minipai, Fort Yukon several times. Curse to Galena for the Jamboree. And uh, and we, wherever we go, with Copper Center, we we have friends there and we, people just know who we are, you know. And it's always fun to see these folks. And because Bill and I went to uh, Washington, D.C. in 92, I think it was. Spent 11 days there, the White House Mall playing for they wrote us a letter and said there was over a million people there, so that during the 11 days they come through there. And, and uh, we went to Manhattan for five days in 95, and that was fun. So we, uh, we know a lot of people. Just fun going out there and playing for their dances and, and their potlucks and stuff. Shining in the sunlight, roaring and jump, it is somewhere in flight. They're taking her away, leaving. songs remind me of my wife a lot because I was uh, playing uh, the guitar way back then and and, and right uh, today even she keeps reminding me of this certain song that I did back then and she'd ask me you know do you remember that one and I'd say oh yeah and I remember where it was at and all that you know so they, they do bring back memories a lot of these songs and you know, I, I do like the older country songs Grandpa? The uh, the new Great stuff, I, I couldn't yeah. handle that. <laughs> it, uh, I just don't yeah. care for yeah. what they call in country it. music nowadays. To me, it's not really country, so like classic stuff, you know. Francis explains what it was like growing up as a native in the villages and learning to play his music. My mother was uh, part German. My dad was part Swede, so... I guess that would make me Alabaskan, German, Swede. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, like I said, when I uh, was just a teenager, I started to uh, play these uh, country songs that we'd order in the catalogs, you know? And uh, it just got a hold of me or whatever, I don't know. Uh, I, I just pursued it, you know? I just. Kept trying to. I didn't know how to play the guitar. Of course, I had to learn. 
to do that. And uh, I had an older friend that, that played the fiddle. And back then there weren't too many musicians in the village. And he'd come and get me, and I was only 14 at the time. I knew three chords. I said, if you play something in three chords, I'll, I'll come with you. <laughs> so we played for the dances, you know. And I played the three chords, and he, he played the music. And, and uh, I guess that's where it all began. I started getting my, uh, I got some practice in with him, you know. And, and uh, we went from there. Everything just sort of fell into place. I heard that alone, some whistle blow. Got into trouble, had to run. Left my gal and left my home. I heard that alone, some whistle blow. Just a kid acting smart. I went and broke my darling's heart. Yes, I was too young to know. They took me off the Georgia main and locked me to a ball and chain. I heard that long some whistle blow. All alone, I bear the shame. I'm a number, not a name. I heard that alone, some whistle blow. Well, I'll be locked here in this cell till my body just a shell and my hair turns whiter than snow. I'll never see that gal of mine. Thought I'm in Georgia doing time. I heard that love, the whistle blow. There's a For more than 50 years, Frontier Flying Service has been your connection to rural Alaska. Frontier Flying Service, a proud sponsor of Heartbeat Alaska. Heartbeat Alaska chooses the Longhouse Hotel, the official hotel of Heartbeat Alaska. And this is where we choose to house our guests that come from all over the world to spend time with us. And this is where we hope you will choose to spend your time when you come to Anchorage. Choose the Longhouse Hotel, the official hotel of Heartbeat Alaska. Bye, Dad. Bye, Junior. From generation to generation, the passing down of tradition has been the native way. You never eat snow because it'll always it'll get you tired. Survival in the Alaska wilderness depends on one's knowledge of ancient native secrets. Nowadays we carry this. I always carry it next to your body. It's the water. Purity guaranteed. Aquafina. calls Fairbanks home these days. So we traveled there and our Heartbeat Alaska camera and crew caught up with him at Mrs. Scott's music class in Denali Elementary where he was accompanied by Trimble Gilbert on fiddle along with William Tritt who was showing the kids some dance steps. What's the, just by looking at it, what's the difference between a guitar and a fiddle? That fiddle has a, a stick. Francis retired from his job as a teamster two years ago. 
However, that retirement hasn't slowed his quest to keep the culture alive by teaching children traditional ways through his music. man. One of the things Francis holds most dear is his family and wife of more than 43 years. He explains how they first met. I was sitting in a cab one day with a friend of mine was driving a cab there in Fairbanks and uh, I had just come from the job up on uh, North Slope and I saw uh, her walking down the street. Didn't know her at the time. But uh, I was being a little goofy, I guess, and I told my buddy, I says, yeah, now that there is a real pretty girl walking down the street, and I think I'm going to marry her one day. And he looked at me, he says, you're crazy. He says, you'll never get married. And uh, anyway, to make a long story short, I, I did what meet her, and uh, we, we got married in 57. It's been a long time. Our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God and prayer. Jesus 
that knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble? Although he's been fortunate enough to be able to play his music for more than 50 years, Francis knows that the decision of when to quit is not entirely his alone. However long the good Lord allows me to, <laughs> you know, when, when he cuts me off, I guess I'll, I'll be done. But uh, I, I, I just love playing music. There's a They do architectural engineering. They design. They survey. John Larson and his crew at Larson Consulting Group know how to work in rural Alaska. This is the best foundation system being built. They're native owned and managed. They do design supply housing and they support Heartbeat Alaska. Thank you Larson Consulting Group for your support. say you're bright, they mean you've got a lot going on up there. It's not something people who use drugs hear much, because over time, drugs can change their brain. And the more times they try drugs, the more they want them. It's called addiction, and it's a disease that will waste your brain. Do the right thing. Do the bright thing. Keep your brain healthy. Don't use drugs. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Heartbeat Alaska Native News, Native Information, and like today, Native Fun. I welcome your phone calls. I welcome your emails. Reach me, Jeannie Green at ak.net, or give us a call at 907-563-7440. God bless you, and we'll see you again next week. Music.